Winston Churchill once wrote that the balances of world history can sometimes turn on what he called small agate points. Churchill had in mind the accidental shooting of the American Civil War General Stonewall Jackson by his own men in 1863, without which, he speculated, the Confederate armies might have captured Washington, D.C., and the United States might have split into two. But he could have been talking of Donald Trump's latest tweets and their implications for British foreign policy after Brexit. Trump's overnight tweet is at once both trivial and epical. At Theresa underscore me, don't focus on me, Trump tweeted in the small hours. Focus on the destructive radical Islamic terrorism that is taking place within the United Kingdom. We are doing just fine. On one level this was just another piece of late-night, extremist presidential scattergun. But on another it was a high-velocity bullet aimed unerringly at the cerebral cortex of the UK government's international strategy. Trump sent a variety of messages in those 26 words, all of them foul. At their root is the anti-Islamic prejudice that the president routinely fosters among his extreme right political base. He may not have cared much that the source of the anti-Islamic videos that he shared on Twitter on Wednesday was a tiny and virulent British extremist group, Britain First. But he certainly cared that the videos had been promoted by the Motormouth US right-wing propagandist Ann Coulter, one of his key advocates. And he will have felt vindicated, not embarrassed by the response on the far right. Thank God for Trump. That's why we love him, tweeted the former Ku Klux Klan leader David Duke after Trump shared the hate videos. Do not forget, either, that an America First president is naturally sending his tweets to Americans first. This week he is seeking to rev up support for his wall building plan on the US Mexico border. Trump has recklessly made funding for the wall a condition for a budget deal with Congress. He is under pressure to deliver a victory to his far-right supporters, not least because he has so far failed to abolish Barack Obama's affordable health care legislation. But the budget standoff already the third of his presidency is not going well. Mexicans are not Muslims, but attacking Muslims is intended to turn up the heat on Congress over America's principal source of illegal migration. The paradox is that Trump's actions seem increasingly likely to hand a victory in Mexico's 2018 presidential election to the anti-Trump left-wing candidate Andres Manuel López Obrador, widely known as AMLO, rather than boost the chances of Trump's own domestic vanity project. But the Trump Twitter storm aims a wrecking ball at Theresa May too. During the course of the year, May has tried hard to avoid becoming embroiled in global disapproval of Trump. But even she has been forced to distance the UK from some of the president's most important international disruptions, notably his travel ban, and his stances on climate change and Iran. Until now, though, the language of difference has been relatively nuanced and diplomatic, with the UK siding with the international rules-based order against Trump's unilateralism. This is different because it is more direct.